Hello, I'm James Clark from King's College London, and in this short video I'm going to show you how to begin a new project in GraphPad Prism. The first thing you'll see when you open Prism is the intuitive Welcome to GraphPad Prism window. Within this window you have the options to create new tables and graphs, or open existing files from one of many sources. There is also a useful link to the online PRISM manual, known as PRISM Tips. But let's start with creating a new graph. In the New Table and Graphs option, there are eight tables and graphs that you can create. These are XY, Column, Grouped, Contingency, Survival, Parts of Whole, Multiple Variables, and Nested. When selecting any one of these, and we'll select XY, you'll be presented with a window in which you can choose options for your data table and data input. A useful PRISM feature is that at the top of this page you can both see an example of the data table and a graph shown. Underneath this you have a choice whether you are going to enter or import your own data, or start with sample data to follow a tutorial, and we'll talk about that a little later. Beneath the data tables are a list of options. These options will be particular to whichever data you are trying to enter. For instance, here with our XY graph, we have four options for X entry and three options for Y entry, and they include numbers, numbers with horizontal error bars, dates and times, and for Y we can choose single, multiples, or simply enter mean, plus or minus your standard deviation or standard error. Similar choices are listed for column, grouped, contingency, survival, parts of whole, multiple variables, or nested tables. A useful feature shown here in the grouped graph is the ability to enter n numbers. For instance, if you know the experiment has had an n of 7, you can simply dial up 7 in the replicate values, which creates side-by-side subcolumns in order to enter your replicates. If, having worked through these options, you can't quite decide what you want to do, you can simply click on Start with Sample Data and follow a tutorial. And this will give you some options, which again are different for each of the tables and graphs that you select. For instance, here in the grouped data, it looks at grouped tables, two-way ANOVA, three-way ANOVA, and special uses for grouped tables such as multiple t-tests. If you're not starting from fresh, but wish to open up an existing PRISM file, under the Existing File submenu, you can choose Open a File. You will see a list of recently you will see a list of recently accessed folders and recently accessed files, and you can choose one of these should you wish to. Many GraphPad Prism users already take advantage of the Lab Archives service. Lab Archives allows you to store your data, your graphs, and your tables in an online resource where you can then share with collaborators or store for later use. If you are a Lab Archives user and wish to use this, you can click on Lab Archives and access your online resources. A particularly useful function in PRISM is the ability to clone a graph from a previously undertaken study. By clicking on Clone Graph, PRISM will open up a window that shows you any currently open projects. Since I'm opening PRISM here for the first time, I don't have any opened projects, but I have four tabs to choose from. The second is Recent Project. By clicking on this tab, I will see all of the projects I've opened recently. You can also save yourself examples. With PRISM as your go-to graph drawing and data analysis software, you can save examples of most commonly used graphs and simply click on one of these to clone it into a new project. When selecting one of these graphs and pressing clone, PRISM will give you the option whether you want to delete the data, delete the column data and delete titles, change the name of the graph and also change the sub-column format information, such as n-numbers. 
but we're going to go back to the welcome page. A particularly useful feature of Prism is the graph portfolio. By clicking on graph portfolio, you'll be presented with a list of graphs that you can explore. You can scroll through this list and investigate all the different possibilities that you can achieve using a Prism file. If you like the look of one of these graphs, for instance this one, you can simply click on Open and the file and dataset will be loaded into Prism. In addition, helpful hints will be appearing on the screen such as this yellow box that will tell you how you handle these datasets and how to format the objects within them. So if you're stumped for choice on how to make a new graph, these are often a very quick way of starting. Whether you're new to Prism or you want to delve deeper into the possibilities, I'm sure you'll find something useful in this welcome page to get you started.